guys, here's a really quick video on um, baby proofing, whether you should or not baby proof or not, whether I'm going to baby proof my place or not. Um, but before I started, um, I'm just going to answer, kind of answer the question, should you baby proof your house or not? Now, a lot of people will be like, oh, this is common sense. Obviously, you should um, because it's safer for the baby, which is definitely true. Um, you know, babies, especially once they start crawling and walking, can get into so much trouble and really hurt themselves and things like that. And you just want to make sure that, you know, your place is safe for them. Now, with that being said, it doesn't mean that you have to. Um, it doesn't mean that your baby is going to get severely hurt if you don't. It just means you have to watch them a lot more. Um, so really, like, whether you should baby proof or not is really, like, entirely up to you. A lot of people will be so, like, coming down hard on you if you don't. Um, but, like, it is your decision, and if you don't feel like, um, you know, covering up every little thing in your house, then you don't have to. Um, or you could do a little bit, you know, just the basic things. Um, but yeah, so I hope that kind of answer answered the question there. But, um, the next thing I'm going to go into is whether or not I am going to be proof my house. Um, so I am not. Now, I know there's probably, like, millions of people out there that are, like, freaking out right now and, like, all that kind of stuff, but... Like, the way I see it is that, first of all, like, um, I'm talking about this topic now because John crawls everywhere and he's getting into everything already, so I thought I would just bring this up. Um, but yeah, like, first of all, the way I see it is that, you know, like, obviously I'm going to have, a, like, the main things, like baby gates, because I don't want him going down the stairs or things like that. But, like, covering out the covering up the outlets with, pl with like, the, like, the caps and you know, um, the things for your cupboards and all that kind of, and the toilet seat thing and all that, I'm like, that is kind of useless to me. Um, because, first of all, I can shut the door so he doesn't go in the bathroom and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the second thing is, like, with the outlets and things like that, everybody's like, oh, your baby can put their finger in the outlet. And I'm like, honestly, he can't. Like, it's way too chubby. Even if he tried, he wouldn't get hurt. And if you tried to stick something metal in there, he would need insane precision, which means he'd be a lot older and be able to understand that you're, he's not supposed to do that. But at the age right now, he doesn't understand anything, so he's not going to be able to pick up an object and aim it into the little hole and, you know, electrocute himself. Like, that's just, he just can't do that. And also, I'll be there watching him. So I'm kind of like, you know, and even with the cupboards, like, okay, big deal. He goes into the cupboard, he pulls something out, maybe it lands on his foot, he gets hurt. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, like, you're crazy, but I, that to me, that means, like, okay, he did that once, it hurt him, um, it didn't kill him, it just hurt him, and now he's gonna be, you know, he learns that not to do that again. Um, we grew up in a really, really big family, and my parents never baby-proofed anything, they never really had the chance either, they were just way too busy, but they never, ever baby-proofed anything, and, like, um, there was a big gap between me and my younger sisters, and they would go, yeah, go into certain things once they started walking and crawling, and if they got, like, it hurt themselves, then they would never do it again. And that fixed your whole problem. Like, they did it once and they're like, oh, that hurt. I'm not doing it again. And it was so simple. Like, we didn't have locks everywhere and things like that. And honestly, like, I feel like that's what I'm going to do with John. Like, he doesn't need to have all of that baby-proofing and, and stuff like that. Um, now, if you are going to baby-proof your house, like, by all means, I'm not, you know, saying you shouldn't. Or, you know, if you want to, go for it. Like, you know, I, I'm totally okay with that. But I just don't think it's necessary. Um... Obviously, I'm not going to be leaving knives and things out like that. Like, all that's, like, it's gonna, everything's going to be safe. Just, if he decides, like, um, even, like, the cushions that people put on, like, the corners of the coffee table. I'm not going to do that. I'll watch him, you know, I, I try not to let him get hurt. But if I happen to turn my head for a second and he hits his head on this corner of the coffee table, nothing bad's going to happen. He's going to get a little cut, and then he'll learn how to do it again. Um, sorry if you hear him crying. I think he's with my husband, and I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that was pretty much, you know, like, um kind of how I've been feeling about baby proofing. Um, I just don't think it's that necessary. Um, but that's just me. And, you know, I might put some scrunchies on, like, the cupboards and things like that to keep them shut. But I'm not going to go all out. If, if he's going to get hurt, he's going to learn not to do it again. And obviously I don't want him to get hurt. Like, I'm going to do everything in my power that he doesn't. But if every baby, at some point, no matter what you do and how much you watch him, will get hurt. And you can't avoid it. So at least he'll be learning, and you know, it's even good for them to go into cupboards and pick things up, that's exploring, that's, they're learning through that, which I, I encourage, um, I'm not gonna be like, no, you can't go in the cupboards, you can't go here, because then they're not gonna learn, you know, experience and be curious, you know, experience things and be curious, so, anyways, that's just my opinion on it, um, I hope you don't hate me, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you in my next one, bye!